Hey everyone, how is everybody doing today? I have some great news. Um, two things. The first, I gotta go grab a link. And the second, I will talk to you about right now. So, last night, I was recording an episode of a podcast, which will be appearing on October 12th. It, the subject was the 20th anniversary of the Ace Attorney franchise, and it was one of my bucket list podcasts. I mean, I've been, I've been on a couple podcasts before, but this is one of my favorites, and I really, really always wanted to be on it, and then the person in charge of it got in touch with me and asked me if I wanted to go on, and I said, oh my gosh, yes. So recorded it last night, look for it on the 12th, and I hope you are all excited about it as I am. All right, the uh, second big announcement, I'm going to post a link in the chat, a couple links in the chat actually, um, the charity zine project that I was part of, Nomtendo. Um, it opened for pre-orders today. Um, they will only have physical pre-orders open until the, I believe it should be, let's see here. Well, the physical pre-orders are actually almost all sold out. So I would jump on that if I were you. The physicals are on Etsy and the digital versions are on Gumroad. And it is a Nintendo fanzine that's all about food and sharing it with others. There's some great recipes in there and a lot of really great artwork and a short story that I wrote. They invited me to be part of the zine and I was more than happy to provide my talents to it. I really love writing, not only fact, but also fiction and it was really great. I tried to make a wholesome story that tied into the whole Nintendo mythos and I really, really hope that you enjoy it. And I'm also going to link to you the tweet about the trailer for the magazine because it includes as well a soundtrack. And it looks like we're, good, we're very well on our way to unlock a um, couple of our stretch goals, too. All right, so it looks like... Uh, it looks like Fennel's still in his Botsona cosplay. Yes, very neat. I don't know, were you, um, were you in here when I was talking about uh, the podcast that I was recording last night? But yeah, very excited about that. So I've got three Gogobots now. And let's see. We need to prank call money bags. Oh, the verification hoops. Yeah, that is now a thing. Um, I've got some extra levels of security on this channel. Okay, something that's bitter and can be chewed. Pause coffee, go away. Uh, you try being me at 4 a.m. Alright, so it doesn't look like they have anything energy energetic, but let's see what they do at the fruit stand. Yeah, it doesn't have anything that's chewable. And it has to be bitter, too. Alright, but in any case, let's stop at Mart Mart and get ourselves some prank calls in. 
Plain soda. So, what exactly is plain soda anyway? What would be considered plain soda? Would that just be carbonated water? Original flavor. It just like reminds me of the whole diet brown stuff that um, Tome Star Runner would talk about. Speaking of, I found this at the store today. It is um, ginger lime mule seltzer. Non alcoholic, of course, but it is a polar seltzer that is ginger and lime flavored, so it could almost be a cocktail if you uh, squint. Let's do this! Wait, who's calling? Whoever does it has to sound like Mr. Bell. How's this? Check out my pencil collection! No, wait. I set the first ever high score on moon landing. I don't think that sounds like him. I only get the best stone ground mustard! None of us sound like him. <clears throat> Proper mustache grooming is a must. Whoa! You're the one! Dial the number! Hello? Is this Pepper Bottom? Oh, good! Who am I? I am, a uh, Mr. Button! Hmm? Oh, oh, is this that what the kids call me at the arcade? Sorry! I don't know what came over me. Please don't be so confrontational. You're gonna blow our cover. <laughs> it's just me, Corozo, the one and only. Haha. <laughs> what do I want? I'm not selling. You tell him, Fennel. Stick it to the man. Shh. What? Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We have a meeting today. We shall meet in battle. Whoa! Epic! Uh, or that just slipped out. It was just a joke. Wim. Jive. Mm-hmm. Your office is downtown in the skyscraper on the top floor. We will, I mean, I will see you there. Toodaloo! That was a cute way to say goodbye. We have a meeting with money bags. We need to get a disguise. Ooh, I love disguises. We're gonna need glasses, a mustache, and a trench coat. Why a trench coat? Because you're too short and you fumble your words. Oh great, are we going to have four um, forest creatures in a trench coat? I'll feed you things we need to say so we can make sure we save Button City. Okay, <laughs> we're going back to say hi to Cilantro. Oh, of course, it has to be Cilantro. Honestly, I love Cilantro. He is, I think, wait, is Cilantro a guy or a girl? Or does it matter? I cannot recall. I think, hmm, maybe, you know what? I'm gonna challenge her. Ennis versus Fennel. Yeah, already I can 
Another thing that I noticed about this world, I don't know if you've seen it, but all of the food in this game is plant-based. You and your Pinerang are amazing! and a mustache. Mm, I can't get the glasses yet. Looks like we're going to have to find cilantro and get the trench coat from them. Yeah, time to grind. Let's see, cilantro should be around here somewhere, unless they're hanging out at the arcade. Nope, they're not here. They still have their um, conspiracy board up, though. I just, I just, if you look at her very closely, there's me. There's Petal, and then there's Sorrel, Lavender, and Shive, and there's an Alien. I think this is supposed to be the I Want to Believe poster. Alright, head back to Button City. There they are. Sneak up on me, Molly Sleuth! Can I borrow your trench coat? Why? I need your trench coat for a disguise. I see you're partaking in the fine art of espionage. Here, take one of my extras. Oh, wow! I breathe and drink go the box. You know what? I will challenge that.
I won? Oh my, I won! Alright, let's see if we're able to afford another Gobabot. Hey twerp, what do you like about your jacket? My jacket? I'm really into torn sleeves and the DIY look. Gotta live that DIY life. Alright, so I have 250 tickets. Let's see. I think, let's see, let's, I've got 250 so I can get, I can get an Uva Nova, a Crush Berry, I can get one Citratana. I think probably the best thing for me to do is to get a couple of the lower price ones so I have a full party. So let's see, I think I'm going to get a, let's see, Pucker Blast. I will get an Uva Nova. And that way I've got the full party. Alright, let's see what the uh, racing game is like. I think one of my missions is the fact that... Okay, so there's... Challenge mode tofu. Scores. Darkness, Chive, Basil, Chive, and Poppy. So it looks like Chive is 138.69. So it looks like. Ah, now I've known their high score. I just did. You know what? We'll do that again. Because I kind of like it. I like the aesthetics of it. Thank you. 
Alright, so it looks like chives. Alright, so now I will tell Basil what chive score is. Hopefully that will work. Does everyone call up the scrub squad? We're not that bad at Go the Box. <sighs> we keep losing. The fluff squad, the tough fluffs, my mom! How do we keep losing to every team? They don't even get our team name right. Uh, did you hear all that? Whatever. I can't take it anymore. I don't want to be the worst team in the arcade anymore. It's humiliating. No matter what we do, we keep losing. What are we doing wrong? What are we supposed to do? Wait, you're on the fluff squad. Your team is great. Who trains? But I just started playing. You have natural talent. Please train us. If not, then we'll forever be the laughing stock of the arcade. Yippee! It'll be best to be trained one on one with each member of the scrub squad. First, me! We need to play more aggressively. We never put the heat on our opponents. Can you show me how to play against their lineup of ranged Gobobots? I need you to form a team made up of Pinerang, Sparkleberry, Pucker Blast, and Starry Kid. Okay, so I need to buy some more Gobabots, it looks like. You know, I could have gone pro playing Gobabots, but I decided not to. Ooh, a Gobapod have the money for that right now. Oh, there's some glitter. And it looks like I only have two pieces of trash left to pick up. Okay, so we need to get the glasses. We need to find some more jacket wearers. Okay, I need to discreetly ask Chai for Revolution Racer time. We've got to find her first. I don't have to dress up. Well, it doesn't look like
I can act I can ask her. Well, you know what? I might as well challenge them anyway. published a um a pick crew where you can make your own um button city persona This is actually a pretty, pretty, um, deep game, and I really wish that it could be multiplayer. My stomach is bursting with so much winning! Alright, so we still need to get enough money to buy the glasses. Am I? What if it's 
knows? I'm not bundled up for that. I can't take all this uncertainty. Can you help me? Thank you. Ah, uh, what's today's weather going to be like? Okay, so I go home and find out the weather. Of weather are you looking for? Today's weather. Today we are looking at clear skies with a warm temperature and a calm breeze. Clear skies, warm temperature, calm breeze. Today's weather. Oh no, but what about tomorrow's weather? Am I ready for it? I need to know. Please find out. Okay, we got another fetch quest on our hands. hot billowing winds. I'm just going to write this down here. And let's, just in case, the day after tomorrow's weather. Stormy, cold, calm. I went and got my flu shot, and it was all right. Um, I don't really feel the effects of those fairly physically, but mentally, I was kind of all over the place, unfortunately. Okay, so cloudy, hot, billowing wind. After tomorrow's weather! Called it. Okay. Stormy. Cold. And calm. Oh, thank you. I feel like I'm prepared to take on anything. Here, have a rain hat. It's not only for rain, you know. I think it's quite fetching. Alright. Now I feel at peace. Next week's weather, though. Aw, poor alfalfa. Race at the speed of fast. Eat my dust. in this world are robots.
Okay, I'm in pretty good shape. Their side quest is all set.
enough money to buy those glasses. Maybe I need to breathe and drink even more Goba Bots. Stop, I will be right back. Cookie break. Okay, so now I have to meet her downtown instead of here. in a trench coat. We have to get to his office now. Stealing our ideas again, eh, Bluff Squad? Catch us if you can! Look at Tufts! Tough! <laughs> Let's go. So now we've got a fox on top of a cat and a cat on top of a rat. Ah! Hey, hey, get out of the way. We'll hold them off. You two go ahead. Thanks. All 
right, so now... He even has a picture of himself. Oh yes, Carozo, come in! You're a bit early. I was just finishing up the draft we were discussing yesterday. How are you doing? Doing good. That's always good to hear. Something seems different about you. No, that's not it. Did you get a new trench coat? Oh, haha, -ha. yes, I uh, got it on sale. Two for one special. Ow! Don't make jokes that'll get us caught. Hehe, <laughs> pesky me acting up again. No, we're not selling. Did your pocket just talk? Don't know how to put the silly thing on silent. Dang fangled technology. Mine is always screaming with notifications. Anyways, I'm glad you're here, Corozo. I've been planning this for years. Finally, I will turn our town into a cleaner, more modern, more structured community. I'll be able to craft a perfect place for everyone. Opening a big box mart will bring everyone together under my grand plan. <sighs> that store sounds crummy. Shh. What was that? It does seem tight around the waist. Regardless, everything anyone would ever want to consume, they will come to me for it all. He's just bullying people and trying to control their lives. What? This isn't right. Everyone else already signed. Are you really going to hold back the community like this? I have the papers here ready to sign. Just sign them and we'll begin the transition to a better future. What was that? I don't want... Oh snap! Hello, I hope I'm right on time. There was quite a tizzy outside. Oh, who might you be? You from the future. How exciting, what's the future like? Apocalyptic. Oh no, that sounds dreadful. Is the world underwater? Or is everyone racing cars in the desert? No one has any place to play video games. Oh dear. Korozo, what is going on? I'm not sure. Oh! <laughs> you are not tough enough to take away the Button City Arcade. I will fight. Uh, who are you two? I'm Corozo. Same? Well, if I'm Mr. Button, the big boss at Button City. Your mustache is subpar at best. Look at those split ends and that sloppy wax job. No one has as good as a mustache as I, Mr. Button. I will not tolerate this insult. Nor will I tolerate money bags here stealing Button City. Let me get this straight. You came from the future, where everything is great but isn't. And you're Mr. Button, who supposedly owns Button City, it looks like the other two. This is the strangest thing I've seen in a while. Kurozo, whoever is the real one. I'll take the papers to Button City tomorrow. Make sure there's only one. Now get out of my office.
All right, so that happened. We have dueling kids in trench coats. Stacked up against on top of each other. That is probably one of the world's most awkward elevator rides right there. You two have very fine mustaches. Say, I haven't seen you at the Gentle Mustachioed Club. Have you not heard of it? There's a club? Indeed, we have a monthly meeting with events. We also have a newsletter detailing unique mustaches. Next month we're having a competition. I'm going for the classics category. It was a pleasure. Have a great day. Okay. He's not even phased by the fact that four kids in two trench coats, two pairs of glasses, and two fake mustaches... You almost blew our cover! You stole our idea! No, we didn't! Yes, you did! Did not! Did too! Did not! Did not! Did not! Whatever. Off to our next plan. Let's go, Tufts. Tough. better time breaking my arm. That bad. Mr. Button and the Tufts both came in and messed up everything. You were supposed to distract them. They got past us. Ugh. We messaged you. How was I supposed to read that? I don't know, but we tried. Ugh, I need fresh air. Take a shower, Fennel. I'm going home. We just need some space. It's been a crazy day. We'll figure it out tomorrow. All right, so the plan to infiltrate... Well, the plan to infiltrate uh, Mr. Moneybags' inner sanctum kind of sort of worked. I don't know. This statue is kind of creepy. You found me! I'm busted! Alright, I'm gonna challenge the party mom.
squished. All right, so. I think I might have already spoken with her. There's still some people that I need to find and talk to about jackets. Let's see in the music venue if there's any jacket people. went down here and I did the show, I ended up getting myself locked out. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do this time. Oh, there's a piece of garbage. And open it up again. After what you saw had happened to cilantro, I wouldn't want to either. Should I go to sleep? Yes. Nighty night. It is the next day. Bless you.
answering. Guess I'll go to Button City. Oh, poor kid. Basil always late opening Button City. This is the 15th time this summer his tardiness should be punished. Um, look who it is. A lost fluff. Where are your friends? <laughs> You're really funny, kid. I'm older than you. You seem friendless. Luckily for you, the toughs are here. Hang with us. I'm not tough. You seem like a good guy. Let me ask for your help. Paprika forgot their go which is unfortunate since we've been challenged by some scrubs. We've got a reputation to uphold. Maybe you could play winger for them? Please, I don't want to walk all the way home and back. Aw, oh, great. You made me an offer I can't refuse. See, I knew you was a good guy. Super tough. Ahem. Arcade's open. Finally, let's head in Tufts. Tough! Clockwork, fluff pop, and pup punk. I'm gonna do fluff pop. Cool, you got some good taste. You're still new to go with bots, aren't you? Yeah, I'll factor that into our strategy. Sorry your friends abandoned you. Don't worry, you can be a star with us. Hey, fluff. What do you like about your jacket? My jacket? I really dig super tough designs. The pointy collar is super important. Anyways, you got one of them pinarangs? I want to see it in action. Let's go upstairs. But it's a gotcha, so. It's a Tritana. A rose soda. A sandwich. Wow, a sandwich out of a gotcha. Let us down, Fluff. You ready, Fluff? We don't want to lose to these scrubs. I want to 
live stream this. Well, in a sense, you are doing that already. Fluff, we don't play on the loser's side of the cabinet. All right, Tufts, this is a bit different, but we'll tough it out. Fluff, you ready? I'll do my best. Let's go, Tough Fluffs. Tough! Oh, they've got the defaults. Executed. Sweet. Y'all are stars. Tough stuff. I knew there was something about you. Thank you. Ha! <laughs> Super tough. Take these. A lollipop and a piece of paper? It's the rules of tough. A zine that tells you how to walk the path of tough. It was created by the tough one. Summers ago, they donned the pleather and lollipop to go on a tough journey. They searched high and low for all things tough. All along the way, they wrote the rules, a zine that holds the knowledge of toughness. Shrouded in the mystery, they crafted tough and left the secrets to be found, never revealing who they were. I found the rules in the park along with the pleather jacket and lollipop. No one knows. 
knows who the tough one is. What I know is that they left the rules of tough behind so that toughness may grow and spread to others. We have the ultimate plan to save Button City. Alright, so now I gotta head down and see Chive. Let me see what I've got. I'm gonna try the gotcha again and see what I can get. Ah, I only still have 25 tickets. Oh well.
to give Dirty Pair- Oh yeah, Dirty Pair TV. I think my- there was an American comic adaptation of that and my dad used to collect that. I don't know if he still has it. Alright, so we got the voice recorder and the bike wheels. And we got the flashlight, so... I've got a reminder set for it. It is an Ace Attorney franchise themed tarot deck. And it's going to be a very good quality one too if they manage to get all of their stretch goals. What do you want, twerp? What makes you think I got any for you? That's so. I want to know how to sneak into Button City. You think I would sneak in? You assume too much, but I'm a proponent for learning and enlightenment, if you get what I mean. Uh, I don't like this at all. But you know what? I'm just gonna go for Chive because of the fact that Chive does it for an altruistic reason. Oh, interesting. Thanks, Twerp. They say that Button City used to be a water treatment plant. They also say that it connects to the sewers in the basement. But what do I know? Maybe your friends know something about that. shell, new and improved voice responses, 
Hello, customer. Leave money and go away. And new hand waving. I'll fix that. Wow, it's cool. Leave the hand waving. Look how cute it is. And one more thing. Confetti cannons. Confetti cannons? Life's a party. Never know when you'll need them. Cool, let's get this thing downstairs and sneak out. Let's get to Lavender's apartment to make decorations and scare up Button City. Is it watching me? decorations. Control me! <laughs> it's a perfect spooky cauldron. The cauldron is available for checkout. It's great for making soups. We're using it to scare away a greedy fat cat. Mm -hmm. Well, wouldn't be the first time. Thanks! Fetch quest stuffs. Bring the 
goes over here. Now to crack something truly scary. A dash of spooky, a splash of creepy, and blues of eerie. Decorations complete. We need a soundtrack to pull it all together. I got a new album in my house that'll do the trick. Let's get my boombox. Saffron? I can't explore the beautiful town. Not my house. What are you doing talking to cilantro? Just sharing some spooky stories. You have any you want to share? Hmm, not with you. Aw, oh, shucks. If you don't want to do story time, I guess we'll head out. Stay tough, Fennel. Why'd you say that? Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Let's head in and get the boot. Yeah. 
weird. That's why I don't invite you. <laughs> Works for me. dingy this place is. It's like we're dungeon crawling. And it's just a waterway. Have some imagination. How far do you think Button City is from here? I'm not sure, but let's get there quick. I'm getting hungry. Ah! That almost chopped my nose off! Who puts an automatic locking door underground? Engineers. But why? Who cares? Fennel, go on ahead and see if you can find a key. Hurry, I'm getting hungry! This is old pictures of Mr. Button. He had mutton chops for a while. Hmm, password? Nope. Um, maybe I should snoop in Mr. Button's computer. Long shot, but nope. Um... Mr. Button needs a better password. Um, maybe I shouldn't snoop in Mr. Button's computer. And there's the key. Go back to where you found the key. Maybe something there can help. 
Well, I did grab that valve, so we should be all set. the key with this.
Here's the boot. Come on, Shy. Don't miss. Oh, nice. Grabbing. Woo! Aw. <laughs> Thanks for getting the key to us. Thanks. Could have been quicker, though. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Metal. Glad I could help. Let's go before my stomach implodes from hunger. boxes in here. Maybe Mr. Button uses this place for storage. Look, he has some prizes down here. Ew, is that the candy box? It's all wet. I ate some of that earlier this week. <laughs> you had floor candy. We both ate it. Ew, 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 ew! There's the elevator. Haha, <laughs> licorice was right. Press. Nothing. Maybe Licorice was wrong about the elevator. Let me try. You have the magic touch or something? Yep. Let's head up. Alright, so we're headed up to the arcade. Everyone, think spooky. Dark. Grim, bump in the night. Ooh, exactly. Let's hurry. We don't know when Mr. Button will be back and that bean burrito is calling to me. Look at the glow in the dark pink going. Fennel, put spiders on the claw machines and Prisma beats, then turn off the lights. Child's play. Upstairs is where it'll get super spooky. Why upstairs? First lure them in with a small fright first, then BAM! Shrieks and terror. Cool! Let's head upstairs. Will be the pièce de résistance. It'll be so spooky we'll keep that scheming fat cat away from our button city forever. This will be the thing of nightmares. Let the fright fest convince. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. Put a bat on the claw machine, a spider on the arcade machines by the golden gobapod, then turn off the lights. Gobabot Grand Champions. Alright. Ooh! Whoa! This will scare away money bags for sure. We're gonna save Button City. Not gonna lie, this is pretty spooky. Spooky! Spooky indeed, Bluff Squad! What are you doing here, Saffron? You made me almost jump out of my skin. I heard there was a new haunted house and wanted to check it out. Hi, Fennel. Oh, um, hi. Don't you dare pick on him. Just being friendly. <laughs> You're not supposed to be here. Neither are you. You're putting Button City in jeopardy with your trespassing. And why are you here? 
to stop you from ruining our chances of saving the arcade. We're going to stop money bags. With your cheap decorations, these wouldn't scare a kid. They're jealous you couldn't do anything to save the arcade. <laughs> Hardly. You keep getting in our way. We could have saved the arcade forever ago if you hadn't sabotaged our plans. Urgh. Tell you what, Bluff Squad, we have one last game against you. If you win, not only will you get the Golden Gobobot, but we'll leave you to your spooky scheme. But when we win, we take the Gobobot. We get to execute our plan, and you walk away. Fine with me. Good. Let's do this, Tough Bluffs. Tough! Bluff Squad Assemble! Yeah! Alright, so it looks like we've got one last game of um, Gobobots before I end things off for the evening. So let's make this a good one. One thing I do have to say is I think this needs to have a few more different pieces just to keep things little bit more, um, just to keep things a little bit more surprising. Yeah. <laughs> 
is exciting. <laughs> Property. <sighs> Give us back our Gobobot and get away from our arcade. Your arcade? What good is an arcade? A place for delinquents like you and your friends to fester and multiply. I'm going to clean up this town. My new big box store will bring you order to you no good kids. Sales, goods, jobs, I'll edge out all of the competition. Everything and everyone will have its place. No one will need anything else. Everyone will work for me, buy from me, and depend on me. Oh, so he's Jeff Bezos. It will all be in my image and everyone will thank me. That's cartoonishly evil. I'm surprised he's not twirling a mustache. Where's your top hat and monocle? You gonna tie us to a railroad track? While playing some ragtime music? And doing an evil laugh? He even had a monologue. Ugh, no matter. You're just lazy delinquent kids. You'll be off my premises and charged with trespassing soon enough. I'll keep this toy as a souvenir to remind me of the trash I removed from this place. You're after the arcade, taking our Gobobot. And I'm hangry! I won't take this no more. After him, Flops! Okay, now we've got the big chase scene. Disgusting delinquents trespassing my building. All for this two hickey. Money bags! Give us our Gobobot. You mean our Gobobot. He's getting away! After him! Alright, so... We have spoopified the arcade and now we are in a chase to retrieve our Gobobot from Moneybags. And I think this is probably now a good a time as any to end things off for the evening. So give me one second and I am going to check who we can raid.
so everybody I hope you have a good night I am going to go start making dinner unfortunately it does not involve any go about anything so have a good night everybody Oh my god, Jewelry Jelly! Cheeky Ray, thank you so much! Thank you so much, Jewelry Jelly! How was the stream? What were you streaming? What were you streaming, Jewelry Jelly? Jewelry Jelly. Jewelry Jelly. Jewelry. I can speak.